Hey YouTube, as I mentioned in one of my previous uh, movies, as I got my new Slash 4x4 uh, with brushless engine, um, the controller came with a TACX Lynx enabled uh, remote, but the actual device inside doesn't come with it, so you have to buy it separately. Um, I got both the car and these um, uh, the TACX Lynx from uh, Hobbit Town in Dallas Fort Worth area this actually specifically in Louisville so I'm gonna install this <coughs> into my remote and show you how to sync it now I see now that this one actually comes with a wrench but it's basically the same size that comes with the set as well for the very small um, so I put that aside I don't really need it now a manual who reads manuals right and the Tracker's link control which is Bluetooth enabled control to a phone or Android. It's basically just an add-on chipset so that you can change and get speed readings. So I will just I will remove this cover first and I'll come back. Alright, so I have um, removed a little screw that holds it. I'll remove the cover. So it's a piece of plastic. In here you can see um, there's a connector and this piece has a female connector on it so I will uh, see how to put in I guess the top part go in first you press it in so the connector comes together and then you put back the screw this is set and done just put it back okay like that now I put the controller on. Okay, so after I um, put in a little uh, tracker slings in the back, um, I go into the application. Uh, an application is uh, can be downloaded from um, App Store or Google Store, depending on uh, what phone you have, and um, you open it. Um, it starts with a little video, and you can just skip that. Um, let me show you how it looks like. Let me reboot that well, closed application. See, it comes like a little video and a movie. Just click and you'll go back. And uh, to sync for the first time, um, you go to, uh, let's see, which one is it? You just click on the, the TrackX link logo up on the right it will instruct you then to um, set up one step turn on the remote turn it on and then go click on the little button on the back to do that and then three press number three to search and it says connected and then and the stable light and it says uh, TQ transmitter Bluetooth update required. Uh, so it's going to download a, so a software for it and, and upgrade the uh, control itself. It says proceed, touch here to proceed with the firmware update. So I do that. Alright, so um, after it's done in phase one and two, it's asked me to turn off the transmitter and the truck. Now, the truck is not even on, so um, just to comply, I'm going to put in the battery here to make sure I'm not missing any step. I'm going to put the battery in just temporarily, not fully. Put it on and then as usual put off the, turn off the truck first and then turn on off the transmitter and then he said just please power off this video and the vehicle off and back on to complete the upgrade okay and as usual put on the transmitter first and then the truck all right let's see what it says now TCM update required, huh? That's interesting, I haven't seen this before obviously because I haven't had a TSM in a car before but it looks like you can actually upgrade the TSM in the car 
and that's probably because the phone is Bluetooth connected to the controller and the controller is connected to the car. So I guess just pr press proceed here. It says here TSM receiver from uh, 3125 to 413. That's quite a big step I would say, so I'll just guess that proceed. Um, morning, read carefully before updating and actively make sure the drive wheels or prop are off the ground and the model is secure or you may disconnect the motor wires. Oh, okay. That's interesting. It's probably ask you to not have the wheels on when upgrading in case it's starting to drive. So let me get something. This little base that uh, I guess the car can stand on in case for some reason when it upgrades the TSM it's not going to go anywhere like that right <clears throat> so now I'm going to ask to proceed and again once you begin upgrade you must not terminate the application or power down the transmitter mm -hmm. that's fully understandable car is like that I can sort of hear a small so I reached stage 2 um, updating and I noticed that the ESC is blinking um, at a green with quite short intervals and I guess that's an indication that the fact that the e, uh, ESC is receiving a new software which I didn't know was possible, so it's quite impressive that TrackX has this kind of features that you can actually upgrade uh, not only the, um, the TrackX Lynx module software, but you can also upgrade ESC software on the car. Uh, so there's a big kudos to TrackX for keeping this kind of updates available. And I hope they continue doing that. So still on stage two on a third about it, so I'll come back in a short while when it's done. So the TSM upgrade is just completed, it's asking me to um, power off and on. Um, I noticed that something moved, I guess that's why I wanted to disconnect the engine or you know elevate it so that the wheels don't have contact with the end surface. So um, <clears throat> I'm gonna power off the um, vehicle first, and then the transmitter, then and transmitter back on and then the engine after that let's see what it says I guess that's it it's back to the dashboard uh, normal um, here in the, in the dashboard <coughs> I can change a couple of things um, I can change the TSM assistance and steering sensitivity in one of the screens. Um, I can uh, enable um, training mode um, or um, what else? Uh, that's a couple of things you can do. Uh, but for foremost, um, what's interesting to use is when you're driving, you can get live stats of speed. Um, and and uh, other temperature engine and uh, battery it, it's, it's different I don't have a, a, a temp, I mean I don't have a, a temperature sensor in, uh, connected and I don't have um, I guess I'm not sure if the voltage okay you can actually set up to give warning up about the voltage and um, warning levels but in general you, you know tachometer won't really make difference um, I'm not sure again okay, I guess I have to go try it but yeah that's pretty much it so that's how you install your Takas link and as you notice upgrading the Takas link software and the TSM software so enjoy and good luck